how many of you have seen the movie Moana. It's it's a great movie about a little girl who turns into a young woman whose destiny is to rule an island nation and to stay there forever and she doesn't want to. She has a call that she is supposed to sail the sea and um, to help her nation. And that is just not the way that it's done on her island. So Mamana has a question about what she does. Does she live into her truth? Or does she do what she's supposed to do? I don't know how many of you have a question of identity where you have to make the decision to either be you or to live inauthentically, to live to be a, a different you, a smaller you, a more or more compressed you. The you that wears the ill-fitting mask, that wears the clothing of this person that you're supposed to be. And then you walk around in that and you try so hard to be that, but the calling never quiets because that calling is your desire to be the authentic you that you know that you are. Your identity calls you. Basically, that's what's happening with Moana. So, what do you do? I remember I wanted to be his superhero. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but I, I really always believed in fighting injustice, in helping people who didn't have things that I had, living lovingly in the world and, and trying to be a good person in the world, whatever that means. But I couldn't fly. I didn't have, I didn't have a spider that could bite me and turn me into something super. I did not have billions of dollars in cool technology. I wasn't from Wakanda. Couldn't be a superhero. That really made me sad for a while because I felt like I needed to be something super to achieve my identity. I grew and I realized that that what I really wanted to do was I wanted to help. I wanted to fight injustice, but not even just fight injustice. I wanted justice. I wanted people to be treated with equity. And I wanted all of us to have the things that we needed. And that in itself is pretty super. The way that I got there, though, the way that I'm getting there, I should say, is first I had to learn how to live in my own identity. I had to be the kid who played with the kids that nobody wanted to play with. And to see them for who they were. And not for something to check off on my box to say that I was a good person. I had to be the kid who shared some of my favorite things with other people, not because it made me look good, but because they needed it and that is what I said I wanted. I had to be the person that I aspired to be every day. And I had to live up to it every day. I had to ask myself, when I close my eyes and I listen to me, what do I hear? What 
what do you hear? Or maybe you don't hear it, what do you see? What can you feel? That, that is you. Maybe it's scary. Maybe it's scary to, to live in a way that's different than what people expect of you. And, and it can be dangerous. Because sometimes being different makes you a target for horrible things. Horrible, ugly things. Maybe it's not even safe. Maybe, maybe you feel like it's a little silly because you weren't raised to be that. Because that is not what we do. And maybe you feel like it really doesn't matter. It's just not. Not a big deal. I'm here to tell you that it is. That that voice matters. That who you are matters. And that that voice, it won't go away. As Moana says, it will call you. Again and again. And what you have to decide for you is when is the right time to answer it? My right time to answer it was when I stopped running. When I realized I was so upset with myself for not listening. When I substituted everything that I could substitute into it. And I still didn't feel quite peaceful in my soul. I realized... There was no, no turning back for me. I had to answer the call, the call of my identity, which meant that I had to be different. I had to push away things that most people would say, you made it. You made it. What are you doing? And I had to tell the truth of who I was even when that truth would lose me friends and family people that I loved would be disappointed and hurt and angry I had to call up courage the courage to say my truth out loud, to live my identity fully, and actually sometimes to decide that it wasn't safe to live my identity fully and be okay with me. And eventually I had to just, just, do you know? Do you know what that is just when you just, just be me. Me. Flawed me and me who isn't flawed. And most days authentic me and some days the mask that fits inauthentically and the mask that is ill-fitting and scratchy and reminds me that I need to be me. So what do you do when your identity is not something that fits within what you were supposed to be? What you do is you sit with you. You sit with you and you listen. You listen to you. You feel you. You smell you. You see you. And who you see that is you, and that is okay. <laughs>